this is Makeup Mermaid 22 with another video and this video is going to be the new Magic Tail Pro unboxing and I got the Aquarius design. So I'm so excited. This is my second monofin ever um, and as you can see it's a lot bigger. It's a bit heavier. Um, one, two or three pounds the weight of the monofin. Larger monofin and it's my first um, one beside my fin fun. So I'm excited to unbox it. I'm ready for a bigger, ready to try out a bigger monofin and see how that swims. Um, and I'll probably be swimming out in it over the next few weeks and I'll try and get some good videos and edit those for you guys. Yeah, so it comes in this big box. It came extremely quickly, all the way from Germany. Um, mono, the Magic Tail Company is um, German, so you're gonna have to convert from euros to US dollars, which the euro is a little bit higher than the US dollar, so it is gonna cost a little bit more. Um, but one thing I noticed is in Germany they have a higher tax, so they have to pay a pretty big tax to get their tail, and when you're shipping it to the U.S., you don't have to pay as high a tax, so it's not too, too expensive. Originally I thought it was going to be around two, um, 200 plus 15 shipping, so it is a big box, but it ended up being, I think, around 150 um, which is still pretty expensive. But yeah, I got the... Magic Tail Monofin Pro with the Aquarius design. Here it is. So here is the monofin. Look at this fluke size. That is gigantic compared to my Fin Fun. This is the size of my Fin Fun. This is the Magic Tail. But look at that. <gasps> it's gigantic. It's a lot heavier than the Fin Fun. Fin Fun is very light probably less than a pound. This is probably like two or three pounds. Still pretty light for a mermaid tail, easy to carry. So here it is. Uh, one thing I can already tell is this is a tiny bit boxy. Is it storage and for um, transporting it if it's still wet. That's probably a good idea. It smells like plastic because it's been in this plastic bag. It came with these little um, little foot protectors to keep the, the feet pretty nice and good. Yeah, here it is. Um, these, the, I love the monofin design with these little extra few inches of tail. Here are some instructions on what to do with your magic tail and what not to do. Um, the design is very beautiful. One thing I can say is magic tails are a bit sheer, if you can see. It's kind of sheer. You can see the monofin through it. Uh, before I do the fun part of unboxing this, I'll unbox what else came in the bag. So first it came with this little introduction to Magic Tail. Congratulations. With this Magic Tail costume you can finally swim like a real mer being. I like how they did mer being. So you can be mermaid or merman, more creature, more non-conforming. It's all good. But it's not just there are mermaids out there. So this is cute, and it's got pictures of what they have, um, just instructions on how to put them on and how to care for them. Ooh, and it came with this really big bag. It's got the, whoa, <laughs> it's got the Magic Tail logo and their website and stuff. It's a gigantic bag. This is to carry the pro, um, and this <clears throat> and this came free. I did not get the bikini or anything like that because it's, I knew it wasn't gonna fit. Here it is, and that's pretty great that you have somebody carried it in, and it's free advertising for them. But the fin fun, I had to purchase the bag separately, which I'm glad I did. I love that bag. So it comes all wrapped up here. Here's the tail. I got it in a medium. Here is my old tail, and one thing that they changed was they have thicker elastic here, so hopefully it's 
as comfortable. Um, this this feels very nice and stretchy. It doesn't really have an elastic here, but I guess this is to keep it up better. You can see the elastic. This is stretchy. This is thick. So the design is green and blue for the most part with a little bit of yellow and orange in there. Um, so it kind of reminds me of the rainbows. Deciding between the rainbow or the Aquarius, but I decided to go for the Aquarius. I do love my rainbow though. Um, the monofin on the inside is actually blue and I believe that it is neoprene um, with um, an acrylic insert. I will take that apart in a second, but first let me try it on. It's a, it's an interesting feeling. The, it's got a little bit of like padding and stuff. I wonder if that's actual padding or if that's just, oh, that's how the foot straps go on. So it's a little bit of a different design with the foot pockets than like the Fin Fun. This is their new Magic Tail design where it's got Velcro. So I'm hoping the Velcro doesn't catch on anything. Um, but this feels pretty nice. Um, Compared with the Fin Fun, I probably, this, the acrylic on the inside feels a little bit more slippery, so I might want to wear some, um, little scuba socks. Um, this one just feels a little bit more traction, um, than this. So I hope you'll be, still be comfortable and easy to move in. Min the tail, not too bad. Look at that fluke, though. Look at that fluke. I might sew up this, we'll see, um, but it's interesting feeling. It's got the monofin itself has a lot of Velcro and stuff like that in it. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to adjust these weird foot things. They're supposed to keep your feet in because right now they're kind of showing through a little bit. So you can see those bumps. There is the fluke. Very big. Here is the fluke. So you can see I'm gonna have to figure that out down there um yeah here um, I'm not in love with how in this design it kind of doesn't work as well once it gets so dark you can't eat, really see it matches up you can't see these scales as well um, and I did know it this does have some purple in it which I did not know so um I think purple is okay I'm just thought it would be more blue than purple so, but I think it's still a beautiful tail. Here is it with the Fin Fun Monofin Pro. <laughs> Very small compared to this one. This one seems more professional. Um, one thing I did notice is it's a bit boxy at the heels. So maybe you could fix that by tying some stuff around it. Um, it feels very, so you can see it's pretty floppy. So hopefully you'll still be able to get the propulsion you need like with this like kind of it's more stiff hopefully you'll still be able to get the propulsion you need with this um, but the floppiness will probably be good for tighter turns not in love with this right now but um, I'm gonna take it the monofit off and show you guys how it's supposed to go on so hopefully with that adjust those adjustments it'll fit a little bit better it kind of the scale design kind of disappears on the sides which makes it look less realistic um, but yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's just the monofin. It's this interesting blue. It's the monofin itself. Um, it's got Velcro. Here's what it is made out of. So this is how you're supposed to put it together is put your feet in, then put one down, put the other down, put your heel strap around, and then you're good to go. It's an interesting new design. So you can see the back, it's kind of boxy. Um, but here it is. And the back of this is kind of um, padded a little bit. There you can see there's Velcro on it. Here it is, it's a pretty good size as you can see. This is just the tail skin. And here is the monofin. Yeah, 
so I'm definitely going to be trying out swimming it over the next few weeks and I'll let you guys know how it goes and how it compares. Here's the comparison to the Fin Fun fluke size. It's a lot bigger and a lot heavier, so it's definitely more professional. Thanks for watching. This is Makeup Mermaid 22. Comment, rate, subscribe, and leave any requests down below.